Today I have a lot of things that I want to talk to you guys about so I thought I would do a chatty get ready with me. So I'm just going to be popping up on screen like the products that I'm using because I probably won't really stop and mention things too much but I did want to mention this thing that I'm using first and this is the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh um, Cream. And I really like to use this product in the spring and summer. Like once my skin starts to get like a little bit more color, this matches me. In the winter, this is a little too dark. For me, this is like a skin tint. What I would expect like the Maybelline Superstay skin tint or like the L'Oreal or even the Revlon one. I don't feel that any of them are quite like this one. This one's a little bit more lightweight and hopefully I have enough. <laughs> But I usually get some on my hand here like that and then I'll just like rub it between both of my hands and then I'll just rub this into the skin and then I usually go back with like my makeup sponge and just blend out any areas like where it's not really blended because I just feel that applying foundation with your hands it's never going to be completely perfect. But I do find that with this product, it does apply best with your hands and then just going back with a sponge to blend it out. I've talked about my faith here on my YouTube channel before. Um, like before I took that huge three year break, I used to read devotionals at the end of my get ready with me's. So you guys know that I'm a Christian and a follower of Christ. I mean, I'm not perfect and I've definitely went through my ups and downs like over the years. But while I was at my old job, my job before I got laid off, I really drifted from God at that job. A lot of the people that I worked with there were not followers of Christ. And I mean, I know that in a lot of workplaces, you're going to have a mix of people that are Christians that aren't that are different you know have different religions and things like that and I'm totally okay with that like I'm very open to you know each person has to find their way the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I feel that God has been really dealing with me over like since I was laid off from my job and especially at the beginning of the year, you guys know that two of my New Year's resolutions was to read through the Bible in one year and to also get rid of alcohol, like stop drinking this year. In the Bible verses that the ones that really spoke to me were the ones about Peter. Like whenever Jesus was getting crucified, the people were questioning him, like saying, aren't you a follower? Like, aren't you one of his disciples? And he got scared and denied, you know, Jesus three times. And yesterday at church, our pastor, his sermon was also on that. And I just really felt like God was really speaking to me. Whenever I worked at my old job, a lot of the people there really hated God and Christ and Christians. It made it extremely hard for me to want to share about my faith because I was scared of what they might do or what they might think, you know? And I know that that's silly, but I was really kind of scared. And so I didn't really mention my faith too much to too many people that I worked with. I mean, some people there knew. So I felt like I related to Peter in that way. Not that like I turned my back on God whenever I was working there, but I don't really feel like I stood up for God very much, you know, just because I was afraid. And then in doing so, like I kind of just started drifting away from God, like where I read my Bible less and less, where I prayed less and less, I went to church like less and less. Then after I was laid off, I really went through some hard times. Like a lot of those people that I was friends with at work and, you know, I lost a lot of friends. And I mean, I, I cared about the people, even the ones that I knew weren't Christians and did not love God, you know, I really liked them. I really liked my job, even though in some times it was really uncomfortable for me. Like I still loved being there, but I know now looking back that God wanted to redirect my life because he knew that 
I wasn't living to my potential there. And I was kind of going down some paths that I didn't need to go down. So I know that's a big reason as to why God allowed that layoff to happen to me. And it really needed to happen because I needed to get back in a right relationship with him and just, I needed a new direction for my life. Yesterday at church, um, I rededicated my life back to Christ. And I feel like I've rededicated my life at the beginning of the year when I started reading through the Bible and like quit drinking alcohol. I did that because I knew that that really wasn't what God wanted for me. And I felt like I was developing some unlike healthy habits. I'm not saying that like drinking is wrong because I don't feel that a few drinks like here and there is bad, but it's just that when it's getting in your relation, getting, getting in the way with your relationship with God, you know, sometimes in life, we go through things and we're not as close to Christ, but that doesn't mean that you can't come back and be close again. I think with anything, it's just like with romantic relationships, you have your ebbs and flows, like where you're in different seasons with the person that you're with. And sometimes that's how I feel like our relationship is with God. If you draw close to God, he draws close to you. And I really believe that. So, and it wasn't like the whole time that I worked at my old job that I wasn't close to God at all. But just there were times where I felt like I knew I wasn't living the way that I should. And so it kind of created a wedge between God and myself where it was like Adam and Eve in the garden where they felt ashamed. I felt like I wasn't even worthy to really come to him and talk to him because I was questioning things and just felt like I wasn't right. But that's the thing. Like, we don't have to be just perfect to come to God and to talk to him and have a relationship with him. And to me, that's what Christianity is. It's not really a... Re like, I mean, I know it's a religion, but for me, it's a relationship with God. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's just a really personal thing. And I've really felt like God was putting it on my heart last night to come on here and say this to you guys to let you guys know. My last chatty get ready with me, I was talking about like vacation and trying to figure out like where we were going to go this year. Like Josh and I have been talking about it and trying to figure it out. And after reading some of your all's comments, I had no idea that the Bahamas were kind of unsafe and not to go there right now. Even before I read your all's comments, like before that video went up, I was doing research about, you know, what places we could stay at. And I was thinking, oh, we could stay at Sandals because I hear like great things. And then I was checking on the prices and I was just like, that is way too much than... I want to pay for a vacation at this point. <laughs> so, and it's just, I don't know. It just felt like it was too much. So Josh and I just decided that we're going to go back to Gulf Shores. We can just drive there. It's somewhere between 8 to 10 hour drive, depending on how many stops we make. Went ahead and booked our vacation. So we're going to be going in June and I'm um, really, really looking forward to that vacation now. I told you guys last week that I hung out with my friend April. And if you guys remember April, she has a YouTube channel called Wanna Makeup. She doesn't post videos on there right now. We had talked before about doing a girl's trip. She was asking me, like, would you still be down to do the, like a beach trip like we had talked about? And I was like, yeah, I would still love to do that because I've actually never went on just a beach vacation with a girlfriend. All of like my vacations um, to the beach that I've ever taken has either been with like Josh or with my family. So I'm really excited about this. So we were looking or we were talking about different places to go. And at first she said that she was looking at like Key West but she wasn't for sure. And then I was like, what about, you know, like Tampa and Clearwater and St. Petersburg? Like I've been there before. It's really nice and it's not too expensive there. 
So the next day she looked into it and <laughs> she found a place in Clearwater. So she went ahead and asked me like, are you cool with this? Like, how do you feel about this place? And I absolutely loved it. And so I was like, yes, I'm totally down. So she went ahead and booked it. So we're going to be going on our little girls trip here in May. So I have two <laughs> vacations planned for this year already. I haven't really went on a like true vacation vacation since 2022, I think. Yeah, because last year, Josh and I, we didn't really go on vacation. We did go and visit my brother and his wife in Canada because they live in Canada. So... I mean, that was kind of like a vacation, but not really because, like, we went and visited them, like, at their house and everything. So, I don't necessarily consider that, like, a true vacation, like, where you plan, like, a place to go that you guys haven't been before and all of that. So, it was very overdue, and it's been since... 2021 since I've been to the beach. I think I told you guys that in my last chatty get ready with me. I want to share more things about my faith here on my YouTube channel and you know just be more open about things that I'm struggling with and like going through and everything which I mean I've been very open about like my struggles here on my channel with going through like my divorce when I went through that and just talking to you guys about me going through this layoff. Whenever I started working at my old job, it was a desk job and like my job previously to that, I worked in a warehouse. I've told you guys before like where I worked at before that, I worked at Amazon, like just in the warehouse. And so I got a ton of steps in every day when I worked at Amazon and I worked there for almost seven years. So, you know, I was in really good like shape from like walking and everything. Maybe not like super toned from lifting weights because I didn't really lift a lot of weights back then. And then whenever I went to work at my other job, I ended up gaining like 20 to 25 pounds working there. And I know that not all of the weight that I gained working there was from the job because it was like a more sedentary job. In my head, I feel that I will not have left like everything in my past until I lose that weight that I gained from working there. And I know that that probably sounds silly. I just want to get rid of it and just feel back to my old self. And I know that not all the weight that I gained working there was unhealthy weight because I also had started my lifting journey like right before I started working there. And so I think I had gained probably like around nine pounds of muscle from my weightlifting. So I know, like I said, not all of the weight is unhealthy, but I know that I don't feel as healthy as I once did. I mean, I've been feeling healthier since I've been lifting more and getting more steps in and not drinking anymore. But I have decided, and if you guys have followed my channel for a while, I did Whole30 back in, I think, 2019. And after I did the Whole30, I felt like a new person. I felt like all of my sugar cravings that I had went away, and I lost a little bit of excess weight that I had, and I felt like my just other cravings for bad things just went away. And I felt so good. And then I felt like when I started working at my old job, like once I left Amazon and went to the new job, I started like eating really bad and just got away from eating like a more Whole30 diet, which I mean, I know that it's probably unrealistic to think that you're never going to eat sugar or some of the things that Whole30 has you cut out of your diet for 30 days. But I have decided that I'm going to do Whole30 again, but I might actually do it longer than just 30 days, depending on how I'm feeling, like, after the first, like, month or so. 
Because I know the first time I did Whole30, it was actually slightly longer than a month because Josh like wasn't doing Whole30 at first, but then as I got into my journey, he decided he was going to do it like two weeks into after I had started it. So I ended up doing Whole30 for like a month and two weeks when I did it last time. Whole30 for me is just like a good reset diet to get me back into healthy eating habits and to also like get rid of like sugar cravings and cravings for like food that I want to try to stop eating so much. So that's another reason why I wanted to try to do Whole30 again and I just wanted to lose this excess weight that I have put on and especially before I go on these beach vacations and I know like maybe that's vain but I just know that I haven't been feeling the way that I want to feel and so I want to make changes. The only way that you really lose weight is if you eat less, like if you you burn more calories than you're consuming but for me, I don't do well with trying to track every little thing I'm eating and calorie count everything. I have just found that that doesn't, that system doesn't really work for me. Like what tends to work best for me is if I have some rules to kind of follow. And if that means kind of cutting out certain foods for a certain period of time so that I can lose that excess weight and then... You know, once I've lost the weight that I want to lose, I can kind of reintroduce some of those foods back in, but just have them more in moderation and not every single day, because that's usually what ends up happening with me. I'll just have things in moderation and then slowly over time, they just become like a daily habit to have, you know, candy every day or a lot of bread or, you know, like where the bulk of my diet is mostly grains and it's not like healthy fruits, vegetables, um, healthy meats and things like that. So that's why Whole30 is a good reset. Um, I'll link some of my videos down below where I did Whole30 if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you haven't seen those videos and you'd like to watch them. I will say I went back and watched those videos and my past self really motivated pr my present self. So <laughs> I haven't really decided if I want to like document it or not just because I'm going to be trying to do this for like three to four months depending on how long it takes me to lose the weight that I want to lose and so it's not technically whole 30 it's like whole 90 or something like that I'm gonna use my setting spray now whole 30 is kind of slightly a restrictive diet because it's the type of diet where you kind of eliminate foods that could be inflammatory to some people like that maybe doesn't digest well or that can cause bloating or, you know, just causes cravings and stuff like that. So I get that it is kind of a restrictive diet and it's, you know, might not be for people that have eating disorders and things like that. I'm going to take off this lip thing. So I'm not saying that you need to do this diet with me if you haven't talked to your doctor or, you know, if you have a history of eating disorders and things like that. I'm not saying that you guys need to do this. I'm just saying what I'm doing and what I feel like is the best for myself. So I just wanted to try this and challenge myself. So I'm going to go ahead, I guess, and do my mascara. So I'm just going to curl on my lashes. I will say that like those first 10 to 14 days, it is very challenging, but I'm the type of person that once I make my mind up to do something, I'm all in and I'm going to do it. But I guess I just needed maybe something to work towards, like how we're going to go on these vacations in the next few months. And I feel like, okay, like the vacation that I'm going on with April in May... <laughs> It sounds so weird to say that. Um, it's like two months away, basically. And I feel like that's a good amount of time to do Whole30 and lose just like a little bit of weight. 
and also just get me like more on a healthy path. And then by the time Josh and I go on our vacation in June, that's going to be three months away. So that's definitely a lot of time. And of course, I'm going to be sticking with my working out alongside this because the first time that I did Whole30, I started working out towards the end. So after I worked with my online fitness coach, Abby, I really learned how to build a workout. And now I feel like I have both pieces of the puzzle that if I can stick to this diet and eat a good amount of protein and also stick with my weightlifting, that I should definitely see results. It's like I know and most people know what they need to do to lose weight and to get in shape, but it's just another thing to actually execute it. It's just really hard, especially if you have a lot of things going on in your life. You have kids, a stressful job, a lot of things going on. When you're going to a job every single day and you don't work from home, you're tempted by everything <laughs> that is brought into the office or any little birthday or thing that's being celebrated or, you know, if your company brings in food to thank the employees or just to have something catered. It's really hard to not eat those things. So I get it. And at my old job, they had free vending. Like their everything in their vending machine was free. So you could go and get a bag of chips or candy whenever you wanted. The sodas were free, which it was a really nice thing that they offered and had for their employees. But <laughs> that was that was probably the thing that put all the weight on me. <laughs> oh God. So at least now I don't have all of that in my life and I can try to get myself to a healthier place. And for my lips today, I'm just going to use my Dior lip glow in the color pink. I really like this lip color in the summer. It just adds a nice wash of color and it kind of almost like stains your lips a little bit. And it's just really moisturizing. I just love the way it looks. But I don't know, like, maybe I should kind of film my journey with what I'm doing with, like, the Whole30 and just, like, getting back to just, like, a healthier, like, way of living. Because I've also been trying to cut back on like my caffeine consumption because I feel like if I have way too much caffeine, it affects my sleep. I just want to feel the healthiest that I've ever felt in my whole life this year. So that's why I'm just making so many changes. I just want to make like a 180 from how I was before I was laid off. Like I wasn't super unhealthy, but I wasn't super healthy. I wasn't like turning my back on God, but I wasn't super close to God. You know, I was just kind of in the middle and I just want to go all in and just be the healthiest version of myself in all areas. Like not only physically, but spiritually and mentally. And that is why I've just been trying to make so many changes this year and why I made all those goals back at the beginning of the year. Just thank you so much for being here with me like on this journey and I'm just so blessed for each and every one of you guys that find value in my content. I really appreciate you guys if you stayed till the end. Thank you so much and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Shouldn't doubt yourself cause you're a work of art